Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn. Thanks for joining. Today I want to talk about syncing SharePoint document libraries to your desktop using the OneDrive Sync client. Today there was a question posed by my buddy Drew um, asking why there was a, a padlock next to files that were being synced with the OneDrive client. Um, so I jumped in and a couple others to try to you know figure out what was going on. Um, so let's take a look at what I did. I have a SharePoint Online document library here. I'm going to click Sync. It prompts me to open up OneDrive, right, to, to do that. Now it says, I am syncing. But if you read here, it actually says this site is read only. So what is that all about? Um, why, why is it read only? Um, so, uh, okay. So I click on IT documents, and here are the padlocks that Drew mentioned. Why are these padlocks showing up next to these files? Um, so we started, like I mentioned, we started digging in and trying to figure out. And one thing about this document library, and you can see actually, is that this doc type column here is required. You'll notice that required info is, is being highlighted. This is a new feature for SharePoint Online document libraries. And so this is required. So, you know, we hypothesize that maybe it's that. And so let's go to the document library settings, go to this doc type column. I'm going to turn off the require that this column contains information. I'm going to click select no on that and I'm going to click OK. And one thing I noticed almost immediately when you do that is the OneDrive tells you, hey, now you can make changes. OK. Also, the padlock is gone. OK, so now we can take these files. We can make uh, make changes and then save to this document library or to this offline copy right to our desktop so what's going on here why is it that a required column makes it to where read only uh, the files are read only when they're synced so um, we started looking here's Drew's tweet about the padlock and then um, here's where he was following up saying hey it's a required field uh, in SharePoint that was causing it well there's actually two support articles support.office.com uh, has one and then uh, support.microsoft.com has one as well uh, different articles, but if you scroll down here, you'll see that libraries with checkout required columns, which is what we had required column, um, and then some permission settings for SharePoint document libraries. These items will be synchronized as read only. Uh, we can switch over to the office.com support one, uh, same thing. Um, tells us right here if you see a lock icon, lock icon in the file explorer, this is what's going on. So, all right, that's great. Uh, we, we now see, you know, this is what they're telling us what's going on. But um, why do we care, Daniel? That's a great question. Um, I think this is actually a big deal. People need to realize this because if I am syncing files from my document libraries, um, if there is a required column, now this isn't a required column that's missing information. This is if it has a required column, period. It could, all the files could have the correct metadata in them still when it syncs they're all going to be read only this could be a big deal if you're syncing files offline and you're wanting to um, you know go off and, and work on stuff on the airplane or while you're traveling or just while you don't have internet access I uh, know big deal right um, you're not going to be able to save those files and uh, I understand that it's complex when you have required information that metadata is not being synced down to your uh, desktop uh, and it's not available in the file explorer. I get that, that it's complicated, but um, you got to know this, uh, know about this. This is going to be, I think, one of those gotchas if you're uh, in one of those cases where you you have one of those settings in your document libraries. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, give me a follow on Twitter at Daniel Glenn and uh, follow my uh, blog at DanielGlenn.com. Uh, thanks for joining.